Hello, it's Marco from Deep Plugins. Uh, today I'm sharing you the example how to actually the disable font hero and use that CSS and the fonts and uh, move your website to your customer without needing to have the font hero on the production website. And this is only if you uh, are finished with the website, you don't want to have any more edits uh, and you don't want to deal with the updating the plugins. So in this example, we have this typography and what we are going to do is actually we're going to go inspect just a second to see tools font hero features okay inline is not enabled so let's view source code let's find the font hero css here it is and let's just copy this one so for this example i will use the script organizer uh, but you can use other codes um, code editor or your own plugin as well so it's fonts header we don't need the uh, scss we can get away with the css and let's create the file so we're going to publish it and we are going to disable the plugin perfect let's just for exercise uh, disable the code snippet as well and reload the page so you can see the fonts are uh, not visible anymore so if we enable it fonts are there excellent uh, to improve the performance you can even uh, disable this create file so the file will be inline let's just save it reload it everything works fine if we now uh, reload it you can see that the fonts are here let's just add a comment so fonts comment reload and here it is let me just zoom in skip organizer fonts here is the entire list and you can actually get away without not needing to have the font hero on your production website on the end thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed uh, in this tip today uh, subscribe to our channel uh, for more useful fonts optimization like this. Bye!